hi everybody. This was a story that it would be very easy to, if you even noticed it, to notice it maybe for a second or two and just go on by. Porn star dies of alcohol and drug abuse at 27. And maybe you just, huh, well, that's sad. What a waste of a life. Oh, well, it happens. And I could have potentially looked at it the same way, too. But the more I read about Dakota Sky, whose real name was Lauren Scott, the more it resonated with me how much of a sad loss this was. Because this was someone who had a mother to pass away from similar circumstances two years ago and who actually spoke at length of the fact that that had made her drive even further to have a successful life, to not go down the path of drug and alcohol abuse like her mother, to strive for more for her life, and then for it to end the way that it did. On June 9th, police in Los Angeles say that the body of Lauren Scott was found in a travel trailer, motorhome of some sort by her husband that they have not named in the story. They list her actually as homeless and at the time had not listed a cause of death and a full cause of death I don't think has been released yet, but it is looking like it's uh, drug and alcohol abuse. She had gotten into a deep depression because of a picture that she had taken recently at the uh, George Floyd mural and it was on the one year anniversary of his death. And her way of celebrating the life of George Floyd was to pose topless in front of this mural. Now, I don't know what she was hoping to achieve by that. The, she captioned it on Instagram of happy George Floyd day, talked about wanting peace and respect for everyone and hashtag Santa Barbara. And she caught a lot of flack for it, understandably so. A lot of people felt that it was very disrespectful. And she had several days of hate. And we don't know if this contributed to her death at all. Her aunt was one of the spokespeople that have actually been talking about Lauren's death. She compared her death at 27 to that of famous musicians that they call Club 27, Janis Joplin, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain. I don't know that I would compare necessarily pornography and OnlyFans to music, but they probably did share a certain wanderlust amongst them. They certainly shared a penchant for drugs and alcohol, for sure. You hate to see somebody lose their life at such a young age. You hate to see her not be able to overcome those demons that had plagued her in her past, that had plagued her mother. Her aunt talked about Lauren's mother dying that was the aunt's baby sister. She talked about the fact that Dakota had dealt with both physical and mental abuse growing up. Just a sad story. I guess all in all, the only thing we can do is try to anybody in our life that we see that they're hurting anybody that you have the potential to pile on on social media maybe don't maybe don't because we never know how it's going to affect them thanks everybody and rest in peace lauren